Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tamash Bear and welcome to this new video. Well, if you are watching this video, then you are at the right right place. I mean, this is not a video where I put softwares to make your computer be okay just to play the game. I'm here to go in depth to fix the problem, find the problem, fix it, and then make your game better for you to play. So I hope I want you guys to watch this video till the very end because after watch this video, you're gonna think yourself and you're gonna tell yourself like what the hell have I been doing all the time your computer is capable of performing really well but you can't just limit like the performance of your computer in this video I'm gonna tell you how can you use your computer your whole potential like why is your game lagging why is your game stuttering why is your game crashing I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video so a little bit of introduction my name is Tamasha Bear I make Fortnite videos every single day so uh, before we begin this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the small notification bell which is next to it so the reason I ask you guys to subscribe to the channel is the reason because whenever I'm making the Fortnite video you will be notified you know once you guys are subscribing next I want to tell you guys that I have saved a little bit of, of my pocket my pocket you know money uh, to Give you guys a season 7 battle pass not a season 7 a, a few season 7 battle passes so i'm doing a massive giveaway for that so check out the first link in the description so if you want to like you know participate in that giveaway so just the first link in the description so go ahead and check it out if you want to hang know, be lucky to get yourself a season 7 battle pass so now with that being said let's jump on today's video so a little bit of introduction of the things that you're seeing on the screen right now so a few things that you're able to see on the screen right now is the left and right side of the screen. So the left one means before the I may I, I, I the right the left side of the screen is the things that I have not done any changes to, and the right side of the screen is for the things that I've changed in my computer. And after that, I'm getting this output. So if you're gonna ask me, did I add any hardware to it? No, I've spent. I wouldn't say like I've not spent. I would say I've probably spent like at least a dollar to make this change from before to after. So let me help you go through this journey as I take you with me on how to fix the problem. There are certain things that I want to you know you to consider when we are doing this. Let me tell you, I, I'm not going to use an external software. I'm not going to use any external CFGs or whatever configuration files which might get you banned from Fortnite. So I don't want that. So it's just all pure hardware, okay, that I will we'll be talking about in this video. Pure knowledge, okay. So now let's begin in today's video. So you, it's not a necessity that you should have a knowledge of of uh, softwares or hardwares when you're watching this video. I'm gonna give you guys uh, an in-depth tutorial knowledge on how you can fix your computer. So basically, some of you guys are who are watching this video. You guys don't have like you know a really high-end computer or neither you have a budget neither your parents are gonna get you a really high-end computer or a laptop so this video is for you guys so on the left side of the screen on the right side we have like certain things that I have mentioned we have the CPU we have the GPU we have the RAM we have this 3d resolution in the game we have got overclock we have got cooling CPU fan we got the GPU heat, we got the um, CPU heat, we have got the cabinet, we've got the um, FPS, we've got the operating system, we have got the thermal, you know, uh, paste and everything. Everything is mentioned. So, let me tell you the first thing first. The CPU. CPU means that processor that your computer has and your computer is running on. So, the processor depends, like how much your budget is like if consider you have an i3 or an amd lower end processor or an fx series processor which is not up to the mark of playing fortnite to play fortnite you need at least an i5 so your processor is working in the background to run your operating system your hard disk to run the game and also to run the game so your operating uh, your processor is working out a lot to make these things work there are background applications unnecessary applications which are also running so I'm just I'm just gonna make a brief video to get you guys all the knowledge. So first thing first, let your processor work lesser. If you're if you're making something, if you someone is like making work less, then you will be able to have more output in the future. So that's the same thing with your processor. Your processor is working on a lot of things, and you should restrict 
your processor from working on those certain things that you really don't need on the computer except for running the game and your operating system so there's certain tasks which always keeps on running in the background and which consumes a lot of your processing speed of your processor so first download like a certain software which i highly recommend is ccleaner which will clear up all your temporary files second thing it will clear up all your uh, cached files like you know the things that you have deleted and have the things which doesn't get deleted so use that clean out the cookies of your computer just try to get as much as space possible on your windows disk so that the game wouldn't lag the next thing i'm going to tell you is to restrict all the startup applications so once you start your computer you're going to see many softwares running in the background either be your sticky pad your antivirus stuff like that so before playing i would want you guys to disable your antivirus but i want you guys to go ahead and you know remove all those applications either be your antivirus or any startup applications like adobe something just turn everything off okay once you're in the game like you really don't need your antivirus because there is not going to be any antivirus which will be coming from the game so those processes when your antivirus is running in the background some adobe software some 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 stuff which is always running in the background just to turn it off by using the CCleaner software, just to turn on the running applications. Okay, um, uh, this is like the first thing, okay, that you can help out your processor with. The second thing is your GPU. There's certain times that, you know, your GPU is working on like certain things. It's like graphic processing, right? So make sure you close all the running applications, either be uh, Photoshop or any, 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 any software which might require graphic processing. Just close it in the background and just run your game solo like not even your browser just turn it off in the background if you're not getting that proper fps here your processing speed is, is, is getting used up your gp is getting used up so don't do that okay the next thing about ram is like you know some of the people might have like 6 gb of uh, for ram i would suggest you guys to at least upgrade it to like 8 16 would be the prime thing if not i mean that's fine i would just urge you guys to save up a little bit of money to at least go up to like 16 but that doesn't matter even if you have eight you can make things work okay just like the way i have done it on my computer so the next thing i'm going to talk about is a 3d resolution if you hit escape on your keyboard or your keypad go down to the settings go down to the graphics tab and once over there once you're there you're going to see the 3d resolution tab so you can increase it to 100 percent, which might be like the full resolution of your monitor it can be 4k 2k uh, 1080p or even 720p depending on like what type of monitor you have i would urge you guys to like to reduce it or increase it so in the left one i have like reduced it all the way and i have also like resized it that's the reason you're seeing it like a little bit pixelated so that's the reason on the right side of the screen you're seeing like a, a, a 720p video because i have like you know rescaled the resolution now how i'm doing this so i'm increasing the 3d resolution which means that like, my game should lag but it isn't actually lagging because I have overclocked my GPU. You can overclock your GPU, that's completely safe, but just make sure like you don't exceed the limit. If you're like if this slider is all the way in the middle, just make sure you turn it all the way to the right, but not all the way, just a little bit, you know, away from the margin. So uh, like voltage and current passing through your graphics card won't be a problem and the rotation of the fan and all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about your graphics card in that way. Once you guys are overclocking, the temperature of your uh, CPU or your GPU will go up. So that's pretty normal, okay? And I would urge you guys to limit it and not to like exceed like the maximum limit, okay? That that's the tip that I'm gonna give you over here. The second, the next thing I'm gonna give you guys is like the cabinet. So a cabinet is the case of where your computer is. So I would urge you guys to have like I'm pretty sure you guys have a pretty normal cabinet with like a few fans, like trying to get the hot air outside. So if you want to get the most out of it, if your computer is heating up, your game is gonna lag. Okay, your 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 laptop is gonna lag. So I urge you guys is to remove one side of the cabinet where your motherboard is not connected and to leave it open because what it will do is like it will be able to like you know like expel like the heat air which is being accumulated inside the cabinet and will be able to get rid of it. So okay, there are more tips that I will be continuing on the later parts of this video. So I would urge you guys to go in the channel and check it out this is just only like 10 percent of the video that i will be able to cover in this part of this video so yeah make sure you guys uh i will be ending this video for now and i will be continuing with the same on my next part so make sure you click on the first link in the description to enter the giveaway subscribe to the channel 
and turn on the notification bell. Once you watch all these, you know, parts of how to improve FPS in the channel, you will be able to benefit a lot from the channel and you will be able to play the game in a much smoother frame. So make sure you watch this, you know, next part of the video, which is super important that you do. You watch the next part of the video and where I will be continuing with the tips, the tricks on how you can improve your FPS. My name is Tamash Bra and I'm gonna see you guys soon on my next video. So you guys enjoy Fortnite, have a great time and if there is any questions, use the comment section down below and I'll be making sure that I answer all your questions. So yeah, goodbye guys and have a great day in Fortnite. And also check out the videos which are appearing on the screen right now.